Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to find all continuous functions f mapping real numbers into real numbers such that fx plus y is equal f 2x plus f 2y over 2 for any real numbers x and y. First, if we let x is any real numbers and y is equal 0, then we have fx is equal f 2x plus f 0 over 2. And we can write f 2x over 2 as fx minus f 0 over 2. And we can substitute this f 2x over 2 into the functional equations on the problem. And we can replace f 2y over 2 with f y minus f 0 over 2. So we have these functional equations. And then we subtract both sides with f0. We have these functional equations. And if we suppose that gx is equal fx minus f0, we have gx plus y is equal gx plus gy. And this equation is known as Cauchy equations. Maybe some of you will jump into the conclusions gx is equal a constant c times h. Well, that answer is correct because we have g is continuous functions. And I need to tell you that if we remove this continuous property, the solutions of Cauchy equations is not always linear functions. In fact, the solutions can be discontinuous. Maybe I will explain about the solutions of Cauchy equations on another video later. And now I will present to you how does the Cauchy theorem looks like. The Cauchy theorem says that if we have g is continuous functions on real number and g is satisfying the Cauchy equations, then we have g is a constant times x. In our case, we have gx is equal fx minus f0. fx is continuous functions and f0 is a constant which is always continuous. So we have gx is continuous, which means G fulfill the sufficient conditions on Cauchy theorem. So we have GX is equal C times X. And then substitute the definitions of GX, we have FX is equal CX plus F0. Since F0 is a constant, then we can suppose that F0 as D, which means FX is in the form of CX plus D. And for any real number C and D, it's easy to check that fx is satisfying the functional equation on the problem, which means all the solutions of the functional equations on the problem are fx is equal cx plus D, which C and D are any real numbers. And there we are done.